Hello there, it's Reverend Austin here. I hope you're all doing very well and that you are looking forward to something really special happening. It's that time of year when um, we start to think about chocolate eggs. Yeah, Easter eggs, mm, yes. Um, but of course, it's not just the time of year for Easter eggs. Uh, it's a time of year when the uh, the sun is starting to shine a bit more and and the uh, buds on the trees are starting to turn green there's some trees that are starting to have blossom on them so all the way through the winter things seemed dead and miserable and cold but now new life is starting to happen and soon you'll see baby chicks um, sticking their beaks out of a nest, going tweet, 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 asking for all the food, and then the, the birds come in and flapping and, and sticking worms into the beaks and like um, but um, you'll see um uh, insects, new insects being flying around, maybe even later on in the year, you will see caterpillars. And here we go. Oh my goodness, this is a massive caterpillar, isn't it? Huge. I mean, if this was the very hungry caterpillar, it would eat me out of house and home. But here we go. It's a caterpillar. Oh my goodness, it's going to eat the camera. Not good, not good. But the amazing thing about this, actually, it's not a real caterpillar. It's a puppet caterpillar. And there's something amazing about this puppet caterpillar is that it starts off as a caterpillar and then what happens with a caterpillar next do you know well the caterpillar it starts to eat and eat and eat and then it it gets really tired and sleepy and this puppet is very special this caterpillar gets so sleepy it even makes itself <laughs> a sleeping bag look at that in fact, this is bigger than real life, of course, but you do, you see these chrysalises or cocoons hung up on tree branches. And actually, sometimes they look like dead leaves so that the birds don't bother looking at them. They think, ah, it's a dead leaf. I don't want a dead leaf. Oh, I want a caterpillar. But these chrysalises are hung up and they turn brown and yeah think it's all dead but is it dead no soon the chrysalis starts to wriggle and it starts to split and something else amazing happens what do you think what happens it kind of opens up huh? and something amazing unfurls and oh wow, I mean, I'm a bit clumsy doing this as a puppet because it's got zips. But look at this amazing butterfly. So it's flying. I'm, obviously, this is bigger than real life because if this was real life, oh my goodness, it'd land on my head. Well, this is the story of one particular caterpillar that helps us think of this time of year. And I'm going to go on to screen share. So this poem that I've written and drawn the pictures for. And it's called Caterpillar's Easter Journey, written and illustrated by Reverend Austin James. See the egg upon the leaf, the leaf upon the tree. The egg is growing day by day as happy as can be. Now the branch is broken off and waved up in the sky. The people cheer for Jesus. Egg felt that she could fly. Inside the egg grows little legs and body breaking out into a world where naughtiness made Jesus want to shout. A caterpillar, long and green, 
looks like a tasty treat. She hides inside an upper room with Jesus washing feet. Do you think that would have been smelly? But Jesus was like the son of God. Why should he be washing feet? Mm. The caterpillar looks for food. This leaf will do just fine. While Jesus and his friends eat bread and drink some wine. Another leaf is eaten and then a bit of grape. And then a crawl up Jesus's sleeve, her body changing shape. A bumpy ride into the dark as Jesus left to pray. He didn't seem so happy as he was the other day well, because he spent his life telling people how to love one another and they've all turned against him and decided to hurt him. We'll find out what happens next. Some soldiers came for Jesus, but he'd done nothing wrong. They took him to their leader. Caterpillar rode along. She wasn't feeling hungry. She only wanted sleep. The shouting was too noisy. The hill they climbed too steep. They lifted Jesus roughly on a cross upon the hill. The sun went dark in the sky and Jesus grew quite still. Is that the end of the story? If it was the end of the story, we wouldn't have Easter eggs to teach us about new life. So let's hear about the next bit of the story. Caterpillar climbed another tree and made a hard cocoon, a chrysalis, a sleeping bag, was like another tomb. And Jesus lay inside the tomb, all wrapped in sheets of white. The stone was rolled into the door to keep him safe at night. Is that the end of the story? No. Let's find out what happens next. Caterpillar didn't know how long before she felt a stir. She smelt some funny ointments, some incense and some myrrh. Some ladies came where Jesus lay. The stone against the door had rolled away and showed them all he's not there anymore. <gasps> the chrysalis then broke in two as wings began to spread. First egg and now a butterfly. And Jesus wasn't dead. This really was the best of days. She found that she could fly. And one day, Jesus joined her as he rose up into the sky. Wow. Hey, that's a happy butterfly. And I think that happy butterfly is saying happy Easter. I shall stop sharing there because Easter is a time when we think about how Jesus, he loved everyone so much. He didn't want people to be hurt. He didn't want people to get into trouble, even if they'd done things wrong. So Jesus said, I'm going to take all of the punishment for everything that anyone's ever done wrong. And Jesus went to the cross. But that wasn't the end of the story, because even though he was buried in a tomb, he came back to life, which is amazing. And he saw all of his friends and they were really happy to see him. And then Jesus went back up into heaven to make a place for everyone. Um, it's like 
forever and ever and ever longer longer than we can ever imagine and so easter is really good news and so i would love to wish you all a really happy easter i'll see you soon bye bye